All righty. I got Catherine Arnston from Energy Bits back on the show for you guys today. If you haven't tried Energy Bits or Recovery Bits, it's spirulina, chlorella. I am obsessed. My family's obsessed. My kids are obsessed. It is like a main, main staple in our house. And you'll see why as you listen to this. And if you've missed, I've had her on twice before. And if you've missed those episodes, I highly recommend listening. She's such an, an amazing teacher and so passionate about the health benefits of algae. It's just it blow you away. And so today we're getting into some new benefits that she's discovered from stem cells to SOD and uh, an antioxidant that I'd never even heard of before called FICO cyan in. So she's going to get into all the benefits of that. And wow, I just, I mean, yeah, I have to have her on. You'll see why she's so awesome. So informative. I know you're going to enjoy every second of this. She's so fun to listen to. And I will recommend if you can maybe watch this on YouTube visually, just because she has so many like visual things she's holding up, but she'll explain it too. But if you really want to get, you know, the most out of that, check us out on YouTube. My YouTube channel is just youtube.com slash coach Tara Garrison. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, real quick, if you want to get energy bits, I do have a discount code with them and it's Coach Tara and it's 20% off. So she'll tell you about that in the end. And yeah, I hope you try them. I'm going to go take some right now because now I'm all like, can't wait to get them in my body after listening to this. Okay, here's Katherine Arnston. All right. So one of our favorites back on the show today, Catherine, every time you come on or we do an Instagram live, people are like, wow, because it's just, you're so fun to listen to and you're so smart and you're so passionate about what you do. And, you know, I have to say, if this is your first time hearing Catherine and I talk about algae and energy bits, like, I just have to say, I fully admit, I saw you get, you know, before I knew you, I would kind of see energy bits at conferences and I'm like, Oh, great algae. Yeah, that's good. Like I, I fully admit, I kind of like, didn't fully respect it for what it was. And then I started to okay. use your products and I mean, they are, uh, I would say, Redmond Relight and Energy Bits are like the two most commonly thing, common things that are used in my family out on the counter all the time. My kids take yeah. them independently. They notice it. I notice it. Yeah. And so we have, you have some cool new stuff to share yeah. today, yeah. but before we get into that, will you just share a recap of why algae is so freaking awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I, I feel like it's a, I'm a mother with a, uh, pro, a little child prodigy. You know, I didn't make <laughs> algae. Mother nature did, or you, the universe or God. And it was, you know, the first life on earth almost 4 billion years ago. But I will say um, I'm the first person that I'm aware of that has dug into the science about algae. And there's about a hundred thousand studies documenting its health benefits, but none of the science has made its way out to the public. Um, yeah. here in America or outside of Asia. In Asia, it's a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop. So the first thing I need people to know is that algae is a food category. It's um, not technically a plant. It's certainly not an animal. Um, and there's two types of algae. There's macroalgae and microalgae. Just to let you know, macroalgae is that stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as seaweed. And it is good for you because it has a lot of um, fiber uh, and iodine because it comes from the sea, but it has virtually zero nutrition. Um, mm -hmm. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about microalgae, which is called microalgae because it's microscopic in size. You can't see it with your eye. Something like a million microalgae could fit on a head of a pin. And it's completely wow. opposite to macroalgae because it has the virtually, well, spirulina has no fiber at all and chlorella has a small amount so you know seaweed is high fiber microalgae is low fiber or no fiber mm. macroalgae is virtually no nutrition microalgae has the highest concentration of nutrition in the world and we have a quote from nasa that says one gram of microalgae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of vegetables so one to a thousand and uh, microalgae is everywhere macroalgae just the sea microalgae is in lakes the rivers the streams the soil your swimming pool your aquarium and it's harvested as a food crop in uh, where we grow ours in Taiwan. So it's grown hydroponically, in, which means in water. So um, you might hear about a blue-green algae closing your beach, but that we're not talking about spirulina. That's just another strain of um, blue-green algae. Spirulina is a blue-green algae, chlorella is a green algae, and they are harvested in fresh water. Um, so two things, A, it's a food, B, it, um, 
does exist everywhere, but most importantly, when you grow it in fresh water and ours is triple filtered, um, there aren't any microtoxins. You can't keep microtoxins out of wild bodies of water. So there's a lot of, there's a company that grows it in Klamath Lake. Please don't eat that because it is, mm -hmm. um, you, I've got science that proves there's microtoxins in it. So, uh, so number one, very, very, um, very concentrated nutrition if you get it from a safe source like ours do. So, um, so A, it's a food. Uh, also, what makes us different from a lot of companies is in addition to that clean water we grow it in, we don't use high heat to dry it. Most of the lower priced algae tablets, um, they sell for a lower price, so they have to sell more to make money, so they get to market quickly, they use high heat. But here's the problem, that high heat kills a lot of critical nutrients. We're gonna talk about two of them in depth today. One is an antioxidant, has a very long name. It's superoxide dismutase, also known as SOD. And the SOD is proven to stop damage of the mitochondria. And your mitochondria generate all cellular energy. So it's not just to, you know, energy to run to the store or go for a great workout. It's for your lymphatic system, for your, um, for your new neurotransmitters, for your cell turnover. And so if you don't have enough cellular energy because you've got damaged mitochondria because you don't have access to these special antioxidants called superoxidismatase, uh, your, your, your mitochondria are dying as you get older, they're mutating as you get older, and you need this superoxidismatase to protect you, and you can't find it in food. It doesn't exist, and your body stops making it for you after the age of 30. So we're going to do a little deeper dive on superoxidismatase because it's an enzyme and it's killed, deactivated by high heat. So when you buy that lesser expensive algae, you're not getting that protection. The other nutrient we'll do a deep dive on today is a, the blue pigment in spirulina. Blue, spirulina is a blue-green algae, chlorella is a green algae. That blue pigment is called phycocyanin, and um, um, we'll, we'll talk about it later on. I'll spell it for you so you can Google it, P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N. Now it does a lot of amazing things like protects your telomeres from shortening in your brain, um, improves your energy at the mitochondria level, but the, the, the piece de resistance is that it's proven to kill cancer cells. I'd say that was pretty important, right? Mm -hmm. And again, I, I spelled it for you so that you can Google phycocyanin and, and cancer treatments, and you'll see that I'm telling you the truth. And I can walk you through what actually happens, uh, how that works at the mitochondria cellular level. But you need to know that it also is deactivated by high heat. So mm -hmm. you don't get that benefit either when you buy the lower priced algae that has been exposed or dried with high heat. Uh, you could get all the same benefits from frozen spirulina because like our algae, it has not been exposed to high heat. So, you know, the, the trouble is these kinds of um, deep dives in these nutri nutrients that are found in algae uh, aren't explained by anybody. You've probably right. never heard of phycocyanin. No. And why would you? It doesn't exist in any other food in the world and by the way, wow. the chemotherapy companies use it. Uh, and I'm going to show you a, a lab test in a science paper that I found mm -hmm. that proves that phycocyanin kills cancer cells. So, so I'm joyous to be able to share. It's like get mm -hmm. out of jail card. You know, it's like, hey, check this out. Mother Nature has given us stuff to stop heart disease because SOD stops heart disease, stops inflammation, stops Alzheimer's and the blue phycocyanin that um, has been proven to kill cancer cells. Pretty mm. sweet. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited but to deep dive. And I want to say, if you haven't heard my other two episodes with Catherine, I mean, these are just two new, exciting ones we're going to dive into. Go listen to the other ones because she gets really deep into the unbelievable list of benefits that algae has. Like it's, it's incredible. And that's why I love, um, not only do you have the energy bitch, which is the spirulina and the recovery bits, which is chlorella. And right. I found myself sometimes like putting some of both in my hand. Now you have the vitality bits, which is a yes. combo of yes. both of those, which is really nice. And the beauty, beauty is a combo well, also, isn't it? Well, or do you no, still have actually, those? So beauty bits and energy bits are identical and we're not trying to trick Okay, anybody. okay. But what happened was when I launched the company, I, I, I started the company because my sister had breast cancer. She's fine now, but her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet, which led me to help her which and discover an alkaline diet was a plant-based diet because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients. Anyways, women's health has always been very big for me. But when I launched the 
a company with energy bits as the <laughs> spirulina, we found women didn't like the packaging. And not mm. only does it have the highest concentration of um, protein in the world, I'm going to show you this. It has the concent highest concentration of collagen. Spirulina has more collagen than collagen powder, even up to 430% more. I did an analysis on a amino acid basis and found out that we had way more of these aminos in collagen than collagen powder. So I mm -hmm. wanted women to mm -hmm. be able to understand that it was good for their skin, for their hair, totally. for their joints. Mm -hmm. So I just designed a second packaging to make it a little bit more, you know, female friendly. Yeah, got this it. is the one I have on my countertop. I just want you to know, it makes me very happy. Uh, <laughs> I can't help people if I can't get the product into their mouth. So we, I designed <laughs> right. everything to be very um, uh, exciting and, and uh, happy and my homage yeah. to mother nature because, you know, spirulina started in the ocean. So that's why there's, it's a, and it's a blue green algae. That's why there's water on the picture. Chlorella is actually a plant and it's a green algae. So I put a plant on there. So you know, I did my best to try to yeah. make them. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this, so we have, awesome. we have a girl spirulina and a boy spirulina that pretty much <laughs> sums it up. So, or, or if you're like the athlete type and you're like energy bits. Yeah. yeah I kind of think yeah. in your packaging, it's so true. Like if you can get someone to take something, you can help them more. Right. Yes. And I yeah. think that my kids are drawn. They're like, Ooh, energy bits. Like I'll take that in the morning, just even the name of it. Right. Yeah. Versus like, I think if they just saw a white bottle, that said spirulina, they probably wouldn't take yeah. it, you yeah. know? And so, yeah, yeah you have to be well, smart with that. Because they don't know what it's for. When, when right. you do something called energy bits, you have to assume that it gives you energy. And while we're talking about energy, I want to make a, a distinction for people. I, I wrote a, a little four-page paper on this because it came up a couple of times. People were saying, well, can I take energy bits? If I take it before bed, won't it keep me up? <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I need to clarify for people the difference between a stimulant Right. And cellular energy because right. um, they're night and day. And here's the difference. A stimulant right. is like caffeine, chemicals or sugar. And what it does is it gives you a burst of energy because it speeds up the molecules from your brain to different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. um, and algae is cellular energy. So if you need a visual, think of a stimulant like putting paper on a fire. You get a big burst of a flame, but then it crashes. And, mm -hmm. and in that process, you get a spike of insulin, which isn't good for you, would kick you out of ketosis. And algae is like putting a log on the fire. It's very steady burn. And the energy is generated for you at the cellular level. Mm -hmm. So uh, stimulant is just moving molecules faster. The cellular energy is generated by your mitochondria. And as I said before, cellular energy is needed for everything. But when you don't have enough cellular energy, nothing is working well. I came up with an analogy recently. It's like, because we had Thanksgiving recently, and I thought, you know, what if you had a dinner party and 100 people at the dinner party and you only had one pie for dessert? Nobody would get a very big piece of pie. They just get a little tiny sliver and everybody would be upset with you. The same thing happens with cellular energy because mitochondria create that for you. And as you age, they get damaged and there's less of them. So they're generating less cellular energy. So it's that same analogy, having mm -hmm. one pie, one hunk of cellular energy that has to be shared by so many processes in your body, nothing right. works properly. But right. if you suddenly have a hundred pies for a hundred guests, everybody's happy. Well, when you generate more cellular energy, and you're going to find out again, how spirulina does it in particular, it's like having a hundred pies. Now your brain is getting the neurotransmitters it needs. Your immune system is getting the cellular energy that it needs. Your mm -hmm. uh, uh, cell recycling, your autophagy, which is program cell that everything works better. So I say cellular energy, having more cellular energy is like having more money. When you have mm -hmm. more money, you can do more things and you can have make more choices, better choices. Yeah. And, and then adding on top of it, the detoxification from Correct. chlorella and yes. like getting, uh, I've had a client recently who, um, I'll be as vague as I can for privacy, but like she had some really bad heavy metal stuff going on. Right. And we got her on your stuff and she's like, I can't even believe how clear I can think now. Right. Because she can't take anything beyond that. Um, for some other reasons, I'm trying to keep it vague for privacy, yeah. but like, yeah. it's been awesome to watch like how underestimated sometimes, like it, it, like for you and me and for people who are really into this, we're like, 
cellular energy matters. So you literally your immune system, your nervous system, like your metabolism, your methylation cycle, like nothing can work right. If you don't have energy in your cells, but like yeah. it just become, it's just, most people aren't thinking about that. Right. And that's well, why they, they just go straight they into don't stimulants. Know about it. You yeah. Can't, you can't fix something that you don't know about it. So that's why I love giving these interviews. Right. Podcasts, right. Once you, you can't unknow something when you want you. So the, what's happening with most people right now is because our food is so damaged. Our soil is so damaged. Our ozone mm -hmm. layer is so damaged. There's no nutrients in the food. So number one, nothing's working properly because you don't right. have the nutrition. Then right. I read a piece recently that said the average adult has 700 toxins in them. It doesn't matter whether it's glyphosate, pesticide, lead, mercury, it, radiation doesn't matter. It right. interferes with the performance of your mitochondria, your cellular renewal, your cell walls. So, um, so the two of them, the spirulina, which is nourishing and the chlorella which, which energy bits, the chlorella, which we call recovery bits. Mm -hmm. I tell people, this is your nutritional trust fund. I like, totally, think about it. would you ever turn down a trust fund? I don't think so, because when you have a trust fund that gives you unlimited money to live your life the way you want, so does spirulina and chlorella. They allow you to live your life exactly as you want because you have all the nourishment and cellular energy that you need. And chlorella builds your immune system and pulls out mm -hmm. toxins and mm -hmm. builds your gut. Um, we'll talk about mm -hmm. it later, but spirulina, um, because it helps your mitochondria so much, it's brain food. You know, we, we yeah. all know that salmon and uh, cold water fish are known as brain food, partly because of the omega-3 that's in there. And I tell people, well, where do you think the fish got the omega-3 from? They got it from algae. So because it's in the uh, spirulina as well in high concentrations, this is very much a brain food. And, and uh, mm -hmm. there's a book I'll share with you, Dr. Chris Palmer's book called Brain Energy, which mm -hmm. talks about all brain issues are due to damage to mitochondria. And then chlorella, because it's has high chlorophyll, is very cleansing, has fiber for your um, for your healthy bacteria, and it heals your gut biome. This is a gut food. So mm -hmm. spirulina is a brain food. Chlorella nice. is a gut food. And the beautiful thing is they're joined by the vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. So when you fix one, you automatically start healing the other one and vice versa. So nice. I love the way you put that. Okay. Let's dive into SOD a little more. Tell us yeah. more about SOD. Yeah. So, um, what happens with uh, uh, superoxidismutase, and I, I came up with this this cute little sort of, they're, they're like a superoxidismutase and phycocyanin are your two superhero uh, nutrients. And the, um, not the, the, uh, the with superoxidismutase, uh, it's an antioxidant that your body makes for you from the moment you're born. And that's why as when you're younger, and, but um, you can re you heal from injury, you can sleep well because all of your mitochondria, among other things, are being protected. But once you hit age 30, your body slows down the production of that. And by the time you're 40, there's virtually zero superoxidismutase. And there are 25,000 studies documenting how superoxidismutase uh, stops inflammation, prevents heart disease, um, helps with your telomeres, re helps re prevent Alzheimer's. So it's all, and all of this is going on at the mitochondria level. And what does superoxidismutase do? Well, it turns the free radicals into harmless water. Now, if, I'm just gonna back up because just in case you don't know what a free radical is, a free radical is a molecule with an unpaired electron. And nature loves balance. And so when you have an unpaired electron, it strives to find balance. So what it does is it steals an electron from the next molecule, which damages that tissue. So now you've got a da another damaged molecule and it steals electron from it. So this is what causes uh, ongoing tissue damage. And at the mitochondria level, the most damaging uh, free radical is called superoxide. And I was reading about this and I thought, well, what makes it so extra damaging? Well, it turns out it has three unpaired electrons. So it causes three times as much damage. And so the fact that this thing, this enzyme, which is called um, superoxidismutase, can neutralize that and turn it into water is pretty powerful. But it's an enzyme and all the other algae companies, if they use high heat, deactivate that and you can't get superoxidismutase from a supplement and it doesn't exist in food. So we have lab tests that show we have the highest amount of superoxidismutase in the world. And I want nice. to walk you through 
just how you know what's really going on in the at the cellular level so that you understand why this is so important to protect your mitochondria because when you protect your mitochondria they protect you it's that mm -hmm. simple so right. um at the cellular level you have a, your cell and inside the cell is your nucleus and then you have these little peanut shaped things that look are called mitochondria this is where uh the atp which is cellular energy is generated but what people don't tell you is a byproduct of atp are free radicals and here's the rub your mitochondria have their own DNA. We know that we have our own regular 22,000 DNA and your mitochondria have their own. And there's only 37 of them. You think, how important can 37 DNA be? Well, those 37 control all your other 22,000 DNA. They control the communication um, between everybody, between all the cell membranes. And so when they get damaged, your mitochondria DNA get damaged, this is when your your health starts to slide, um, but you can re, you can regain it when you start rebuilding your mitochondria and starting to heal them. Now, I want to help you understand what exactly is going on at that um, cellular level because your mitochondria are these really interesting. Uh, or they're called organelles, and they have a, a second inner membrane, only cell in your body with a second inner membrane, it's that squiggly thing in the inside. And this is where, as I mentioned, ATP is produced. And I'm going to demystify the production of ATP for you. So I'm sure you've watched a relay race at some point in your life where you, there's a series of runners and one runner will run a distance and they pass the baton to the next runner and then that runner runs the next distance and hopefully one of them crosses the finish line and wins. Well, something very similar is going on at the cellular level in your mitochondria, except instead of runners, um, you have these molecules that are embedded in that squiggly inner membrane that I showed you. And instead of a baton being passed from one to the next, it's electrons. So to create uh, cellular energy, which is called ATP, the electrons move along the from one station molecule to the next, and the finished um, hope is that ATP cellular energy is created. And there's a couple of little helper molecules in there. One's called CoQ10 and the other one's cytochrome C. So you think, okay, I got that. It's like a relay race, except they're moving electrons around. Well, when your mitochondria get damaged, they expand. So here's a healthy mitochondria. See how close the little stations are? In this example, ATP would be generated effectively because the electrons are being moved from one to the next. There's not a lot of uh, electrons escaping and those escaped escaping electrons are, uh, turn into free radicals. So here's a healthy mitochondria. Here's an unhealthy mitochondria. See how it's expanded? It will eventually explode. It's a process called necrosis and all the um, damage inside and all the free radicals will then pass immediately to the rest of the tissue. So see how far the, those molecules are? That means that it's very difficult for them to pass the electron from one molecule to the next. So this reduces the amount of ATP being produced because they, they can't pass the electron, so it's like you can't cross the finish line. Number two, because they can't pass the electrons, they don't just disappear, they leak out into the mitochondria and become free radicals. This is why as your mitochondria get more and more damaged, they get they expand more and more. So you have less and less uh, elect, um, ATP and more and more free radicals. And it's just a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. But because uh, the algae helps remove the free radicals and reduce the free radicals, this is how your mitochondria start to heal. Here's a real picture of a healthy mitochondria. And here's one of a damaged mitochondria with all those gaps, right? So that whoever's mitochondria here is not generating very much ATP. So it's not a big, it's not a mystery. It's just cellular processes. And you, we all know that when your cell phone gets down to the red, you're almost out of juice, right? Well, when you aren't eating properly, resting properly, getting rid of toxins properly, it's like your body being in the red mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And you never know when it's going to finally mm -hmm. end. 
So, well, and it's that double whammy and you see it so much. It's like, you can almost feel it in people. It's that double whammy of I, not only do I not have energy, but on top of it, I'm inflamed. And like, it's like this double whammy. It's not just yeah. low energy. Yeah. It's also that inflammatory process. You know, when this starts to become like a big issue, right. it's like, it's that nothing's working right. And on top of it, I feel worse than just low energy. Well, I also feel inflamed and <laughs> exactly. You know. And now you see why it's the double whammy. You have mm-hmm. less energy because mm-hmm. those molecules aren't able to transfer the right. electrons effectively. So they're not getting enough ATP to clean out your neurotransmitters, clean out your, your immune system, improve your hormonal. And because they're far apart from one another, you get more electrons leaking out, which become free radicals, which increase your inflammation. So you can see how it all works. And so the great thing is we can turn that around and it doesn't have to take a lot of money. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's just the fact that spirulina improves um, both the ATP production because the blue phycocyanin in a healthy cell, uh, remember I mentioned there was a couple of helper cells, uh, one's called cytochrome C, in a healthy cell, the blue phycocyanin speeds up the process of those electrons. It's like suddenly mm-hmm. going, jumping into a Tesla. It's like, mm-hmm. boom. Now you, you're supercharging your molecules to make that ATP for you. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. And if right? any of you haven't, I bet a lot of people listening probably have tried, you know, spirulina, chlorella, prop, maybe your products they already take. Maybe they've tried another, but like, if you haven't experienced what she's talking about yet. Like, yes, of course, you're going to be an advocate of the thing that you have dedicated your entire life to and your business and all of that. But it's so much more. You can tell it's a mission for you. I'm just saying, like, I back up what you're saying, because when you're consistently using it, you're like, whoa, dude, I feel good. Like it's 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 exactly as you described. It's not you can actually start to become from a intuitive basis, like you can start to understand the difference between real energy and yeah. fake energy, right? Yeah. It's just like, okay, I am like clear and like operating well, you know? And so yeah. I can't recommend enough trying it out to t- yeah. just through your own experience, Absolutely. you know, give it an extended amount of time and just notice like, how yeah. do I feel differently right now? You will notice. I, I always have anyway. And I think my yeah. kids do too. And that's why they're mo- self-motivated to take it. Right. You know, so. And you'll yeah. really notice it when you stop because suddenly that clarity and the, and the way we describe it, the kind of energy you get, remember I, I was thinking, I used the analogy of a log on a fire. There's mm-hmm. no rush, no crash, no drama. There's right. no drama with algae. So if you're looking for drama, you got to go somewhere else. Not here. <laughs> um, but what you will feel is like you just had a great night's sleep, uh, that your mind is really clear. Yeah. Uh, there's zero carbs. So it's great for intermittent fasting. I do intermittent fasting every day now and love it. Um, mm, so nice. when you do eat, then you you can eat you know whatever it is that you choose to. This is great for vegans, paleo, right. ancestral, carnivores. There's no mm-hmm. lectins or oxalates. Um, but you only get all those great benefits when you have a product that's been carefully grown and carefully dried because just as I mentioned that SOD is an enzyme, which is killed by high heat. I found a a science paper that showed the same thing about phycocyanin. It loses 50% of its value and is deactivated again by high heat. So you you may common. How common, sorry, how common would you say the high heat thing is with processing these products? Do you have any um, idea? probably 80% or 90%, I would think, for the lower price. But the you right. do have the option also of using frozen spirulina, except frozen spirulina is very expensive, hard to find, expires quickly, yeah. easy to travel with. But I will tell you, because we've talked, we're t- in discussions with the Gershon Institute, which is a healing center um, actually based in Mexico in the Hippocrates Center, which is a 50 year old uh, healing center in Florida. And one of the things they always in both cases give their patients are uh, frozen spirulina because Mm. it has all these attributes. Um, Mm. But they're thinking of recommending us for when their patients go home because they need something that's still raw, that still has all the Mm -hmm. attributes, all these healing attributes, but is easier to purchase, travel with, doesn't expire. If you don't like the taste, you can swallow it. Um, Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't think I mentioned that the the great thing about the algae is they come in these little tiny tablets. Uh, The dark one is spirulina, that's uh, the blue-green algae. The lighter one is chlorella, which is the green algae. 
And we generally recommend a 10 spirulina in the morning because that's when you're tired and hungry or before a workout to get you going for the day. Again, zero carbs does not decrease your ketones. You, If you're wearing a, a glucose monitor, you'll see for yourself. And then we generally recommend the chlorella before bed, because that's when your body goes through mm -hmm. a detox and repair cycle. Mm -hmm. And so if you have chlorella in your body, you're going to be able to pull out more um, toxins. You're going to help your repair cycle, and um, it, which is a great um, segue into stem cells, because I've done some recent research about stem cells, because uh, that's another big topic. Mitochondria health and stem cells. Mm -hmm. are where all the future research is heading you know, mm -hmm. for longevity purposes. And um, both algae, particularly spirulina, uh, help with both of those. So it's, uh, and they're, you know, a, a gift to us from mother nature if they're grown carefully. I tell mm -hmm. people algae isn't like growing broccoli or carrots. It's more like uh, producing wine and the <laughs> process, production process mm -hmm. in wine, everybody knows determines the, you know, the outcome of the wine, you know, how long mm -hmm. it's been in there and the heat and mm -hmm. same with algae. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's not just a simple thing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why it's, you know, it's rare to find a company like ours that spends so much time making sure that mm -hmm. the quality is, is preserved. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, and for athletes, you know, mitochondria health is critical for you because uh, your highest concentration of mitochondria are in your brain. There's 2 million mitochondria per cell in your brain. The next highest is uh, your heart. There's about 7,000. But after that, it's your muscles. There's 5,000 mitochondria per cell in your muscle. This is why you need to ensure that you are looking after your mitochondria to ensure that you're going to have that power to uh, to do whatever your your uh, choice of athletics is. So um, mitochondria is really critical. And then also stem cells are important for everybody. And as you age, just like your mitochondria get damaged and decrease in quantity, so do your stem cells. And um, a lot of people don't know what stem cells are. So basically they are the cells they're made in, mostly in your bone marrow. They are in a unique cell that can become any other cell in your body. They can become a brain cell. They can become a heart cell. It doesn't matter. And the way it works is that when you have damaged tissue, and this could be from chronic aging, this could be from an injury, this, the tissue sends out a signal that activates the release of stem cells. But as you age, you have fewer that can be uh, that are being made available and fewer are circulating. So if you can't get enough stem cells circulating, you're going to have a much slower repair. This mm -hmm. is and remember, I said when you sleep, that's when you have your repair. So having more circulating stem cells while you're sleeping is very important mm -hmm. for protecting your health. We're working with some surgeons now who are recommending both the algae, particularly again, the spirulina as pre-surgery food, because again, nice. algae is food. So the, the body is completely nourished and ready for whatever surgery is happening. And then nice. they also um, give both the spirulina, but particularly the chlorella afterwards, because here's the cool thing about chlorella. That's the recovery bits. It has something called chlorella growth factor. Turns out chlorella is the fastest growing organism in the world. This is why they wanted to use it for food in space. And it also stimulates your cells to, to regrow faster. So nice. if you've had an injury and, or surgery, this will help your body heal faster. It's a combination of the protein and the collagen, but also this thing called chlorella growth factor and that it nice. stimulates um, collagen. And also remember I was mentioning about the blue phycocyanin speeding up the molecule um, that's is like a Tesla, it's called CoQ, um, cytochrome C. Well, chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. And when you blend, mix it with red light, either from sunlight or red light therapy, it stimulates the CoQ10 molecule, which is the other helper molecule in Huge. that um, relay race. And so again, it generates more ATP. So, mm -hmm. uh, and when you have more ATP, you have more healing power, you have more regenerative power. Um, so they they work really well together. It, it's it's mm. it's pretty incredible. So having more stem cells helps you heal. And I found some interesting science. They did a, a study that um, where they put um, 
stem cells in this particular uh, test group and their uh, healing, pro the number of stem cells uh, double or tripled in a 24 hour period. So, oh, wow. um, so it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I've got, and also I'll send you this updated presentation with all the, the science awesome. references. So I love I, now I, I'm like, can you guys see why I love energy bit so much? And I appreciate you taking the time to come educate because you do such a good job on that, you know, and it's just, to me, it's just, it's such a smart, simple thing to add to your life that you get so many benefits from, and you can tell. You know, it's not like, it's not like stimulant kind of tell, like, I hope people exactly. have the awareness. It's like yeah. this, like, man, I just feel good in my life. Like I feel my health, everything feels a little easier. It feels a easier. little, a little yeah. better, you know, it just does, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's so simple. Um, my kids will take it. They just swallow them. You know, they've tried Munch, munching on the chlorella. Some of them like it. Some of them don't. You can swallow them or you can, yeah, I, I kind of like the chlorella personally, the recovery oh, I love bits, it. I eat it all like day chewing long. on them, yeah. but you could just yeah. swallow them too. If you want to see your is a little chewy, you know, I mean, yeah. more power to you if you want to, but I usually just swallow those, but they're just, yeah. it's such a simple way to get all of these benefits that you're talking about. And I love that you've like separated them out or combined them. I really like the energy bits in the morning, chlorella, the recovery bits at night. I just think it is like the smartest, most ultimate hack. And I also intermittent fast because I'm really big on that recovery during sleep. And yeah. I think it's just such a smart thing to add in that fasted window. It's not going to break your fast. It's just right. going to enhance your ability to recover really well during sleep. It's like such a smart biohack, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's well, just food. And, yeah. And since you're talking <laughs> about biohack, I'm sure a lot of your community does this. Cryotherapy is a, a really great hack, great for uh, re athletic recovery or any kind of recovery. And when you're in the cryotherapy chamber, uh, you, it, it's really cold. It's like doing a, a, you know, a cold plunge. So uh -huh. if you took the spirulina before a cold plunge or the cryotherapy, what happens when you're in, exposed to all that cold, your body thinks it's dying. So it pulls all of the blood from your extremities into your core because it wants to protect your core, your heart, mm -hmm. um, your lungs, because that's, you know, when they go, you go. And so if you have spirulina in your body while you're uh, prior to the treatment, cold plunge or cryotherapy, um, you're going to be nourishing your body and your blood even more when it's all so concentrated. Mm. And um, as I'm going to show you next in a minute about phycocyanin killing cancer cells, because it has that blue phycocyanin, it can also be killing cancer cells while it's all concentrated. And then when you step out of the cold plunge or out of the cryotherapy, uh, spirulina is known as uh, releasing nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. So now it rushes, all the blood rushes to your extremities in a bigger way, carrying all that nourishment that was concentrated in your core. So, um, and while you're in that um, cryotherapy and probably cold plunge, there's autophagy going on, apoptosis. That's what's called uh, programmed cell death. Because as you get older, um, uh, you want to get cleaned out of these uh, or senescent cells. Senescent cells are cells that have subdivided so often that they they um, they don't really have any function anymore, but they don't die and they're inflammatory. So when you do these treatments like cryotherapy or cold plunges, it, uh, it cleans out some of the senescent uh, cells to get rid of them. So that's why we recommend you take the chlorella after a cold plunge or a cryotherapy, because it will clean out all of the toxins and dead cells that were released when you were in the treatment. So, uh, Thanks. so it's, I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. I, I've been doing cryo a lot. We've got a full, full body cryo ch chamber oh, at the gym I go to here. Oh, excellent. So I I've been doing it a lot lately. So I'll definitely try that out. So thanks yeah. for sharing that. And yeah. then let's hit a little bit in the little bit of time we have left. I want to hit on the phycocyanin a little yeah. more. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit more about it? Cause I'm kind of yeah. into antioxidants and I don't know. You're right. I don't know this one. So yeah, please yeah. educate me. Well, now that you know about it, I want you to Google it. So again, uh, phycocyanin, and I'll, I'll show you how to spell it because lots of people are visual. Um, and so it doesn't exist anywhere else in nature, nowhere else except in spirulina. But as I mentioned, it's also deactivated by high heat. So you, it's not available in some of the lower priced algae. So here's a great research paper. They took some cancer cells and dyed them purple, put them in a Petri dish. And then they put some phycocyanin into the Petri dish and did a, a time release picture over 24 hours. And after 24 hours, the, the um, 
the the uh, cancer cells were pretty much all gone, 24 hours. That's and here's insane. what's really amazing. I looked at how much phycocyanin was used in this experiment. And one of our energy bits or beauty bits, spirulina tablets, contains 4,000 times more phycocyanin than was used in that experiment. And so if you wanna know what's really going on or how that works, um, I'm gonna show you this chart again. So here's another sort of more simplified version. Remember I showed you those molecules that are embedded mm -hmm. in the, um, uh, the, the um, mitochondria? Uh, mitochondria. So, so there's this little helper cell. I, I, it's called cytochrome C, and, I, and it's in a healthy cell. It's like a Tesla. It moves the electrons along quickly, so it generates more ATP. So, in a healthy cell, it's it's beautiful for generating more energy. But in a cancer cell or mm -hmm. a senescent cell, which again is like a zombie cell, what that phycocyanin does is the ejects the cytochrome C molecule, and which goes out, it, which kills the cancer cell or the senescent cell. And just so you know, cancer, the chemotherapy treatments, when they're measuring, they use this in their treatments and they measure, uh, they'll do a blood test to find out how much cytochrome C is in your bloodstream. Because if it's high, they mm. know the cancer is being killed because it's the cytochrome C molecule that's been ejected. It's mm -hmm. a pathway that's been studied and wow. documented. So okay. pretty pretty powerful stuff, right? Yeah. Um, that phycocyanin also um, has what's called anti-angiogenesis properties, which means it stops the growth of blood vessels to tumors or cancers. So wow. it's like having a you know a traffic cop saying, "Oh, sorry guys, you can't go to that that <laughs> that cancer. That you know, stay back back." So, um, wow. and so this is so fascinating to me so, that it, it exists naturally in spirulina if it has not been exposed to high heat. Mm. Um, and, and cyanobacteria, spirulina is a cyanobacteria, was the first life on earth almost 4 billion years ago. So, uh, and which I, is I, why I, it makes sense that you just keep finding more and more awesomeness as you go in this journey, right? <laughs> Cause come on, it's like, it's like it's the OG, oh, man. literally. <laughs> it's like, you do that too. Like what you, you could live on this stuff. We're not suggesting you could, but it's so <laughs> nourishing. And then the chlorella is so detoxing that the two of them are, are like, you're uh, like I said, they're, they're like your trust fund. They seriously, they if you're worried about like, you're, you're like kind of like shit might hit the fan doomsday type stuff, like stack up on energy oh, bits totally. and recovery bits. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they stacked. We have a, it's usually a three-year expiry date, but honestly they never go bad because algae actually mm -hmm. never dies. It will go dormant indefinitely and then it will, it will start mm -hmm. growing again. So mm -hmm. um, I came up with this little analogy because I speak at a lot of conferences at hotels because, uh, and I sometimes get room service and I thought, you know what? Spirulina is so nourishing for your brain, for your body, for your mitochondria. It's like room service and chlorella, <laughs> yeah. you know, later in the day, the housekeeping comes in and cleans out all the junk in your trunk. Totally. It's like, so that's, so that's chlorella. So think of spirulina as housekeeping mm -hmm. and chlorella uh, recovery bits as, uh, sorry, it's room service as, yeah. as, as housekeeping. So yeah. I'll do anything to help people understand they are quite different. Uh, they do completely different things in your body. They work beautifully together um, yeah. because they have different nutrient profiles and um, it's effortless nutrition. It will boost your performance as an athlete uh, without any kind of stimulants, without any kind of sugar, without any kind of glucose. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it, I mean, really, you can't find anything that's ketogenic and vegan and paleo and ancestral <laughs> right. anywhere. And right. I can't take credit for it. That's mother nature. But as I say, um, we, we take our, a lot of pride in helping people mm -hmm. understand what it is. In fact, mm -hmm. you'll, uh, I don't know if I told you, but I, I'm so in love with all this research. I've decided to pursue a PhD. So I'm, I'm in, I'm into some early discussions with some schools. Nice. It, it may take me a long time, but, um, I, th you know, this very fitting needs to get out. And so, mm -hmm. and I'm loving learning and sharing, so it, it'll mm -hmm. keep coming. Trust me. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it, that definitely suits you for sure. I mean, I feel like you already have like an official PhD in algae. You know? yeah, yeah. I call myself a citizen <laughs> scientist because I'm self-taught, but I'll get the real. I'll get yeah. The real that will be very fun for you. And yeah. um, I'm excited for you on that. And thank yeah, you so too. much. Thank yeah. you so much for what you do guys. Like the, the energy bits, like to me are like, I'm always looking for bang for my buck, like 
what really turns the needle that to me, energy bits and recovery bits are one of those. Like I yeah. love them so much. When people come to my house, I give them to them. You know what I yeah. mean? I'm like, here, take these. And they're like, what is this fish food? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr eat it. Drink yeah, that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. You're going to feel good. You know, here, have some relight with it. That's kind of, those are like big hitters for me, you know, like yeah. there. And so I appreciate what you've been doing. You've oh, been well, like, I appreciate you. I'm so putting, grateful for everything, you know, keeping people Thanks. motivated. And by, by the way, <laughs> exercise is a, the other great way to build your mitochondria because they they strengthen by being stressed and, and uh, exercise, particularly mm -hmm. weight bearing exercise is very, very important for your mitochondria. So, um, mm -hmm. and I tell people, you know, um, I never eat alone. I always eat with my mitochondria. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I they, can't, love it. they can't reach out to the table and pick the right foods. You got to oh. do it. Them. So, you know, give your them soul tribe, Catherine, soul <laughs> tribe. I'm not alone. My mitochondria here. Here you go, yeah, guys. Yeah. Mighty mitochondria. <laughs> what would you guys like? I bet you like that, don't you? Thanks for everything you do. <laughs> I'm going to be in some park bench talking to myself and my mitochondria <laughs> when I'm 70 or 80. <laughs> Although, speaking That's of which, us. you know, I'm inching towards 70 and I don't have any wrinkles and I, this is all my own hair and I don't take any supplements. I don't take any, wow. uh, I don't have any medications. No, nobody believes how old I am. <laughs> so awesome. So, so awesome, man. Good. Um, all right, guys, we are going to link up, uh, energybits.com is the website. I, I mean, they have such, so many different cool packaging options, but those, those tubs canister things are really yeah. nice. You can get the they, big refill they, bags. They, yeah. They have a little opening that you can shake the can uh, tablets mm -hmm. out and then when you, and then you buy a re uh, a big bag to refill them and uh -huh. we have 20% discount code. It's coach Tara. C O A C H T A R A. Now, which is significant, uh, by the way. Like, yes. get the big bag. It was a and the large bag has um, a thousand tablets in it. Now, I don't want you to have sticker shock with the discount code. It'll be about $103 or something. But what I want you to know, because I use that quote from NASA that says one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of vegetables. <laughs> this bag has the equivalent nutrition of 551 pounds of vegetables. <laughs> that's about 30 or 40 grocery carts. So there's 30 or 40 grocery carts that you'd have to, of vegetables, you have to lug home, cook, clean, eat, throw out, get gas, fight with your kids to eat them, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the other thing is if you eat 10 a day, which is what we recommend as a starter dose, if you have any kind of health condition, a therapeutic amount is 30 tablets. But if nice. you took 10 okay. a day, that costs you a dollar a day, a dollar mm -hmm. a day. How mm -hmm. could you turn down perfect health for a dollar a day? And the same mm -hmm. thing with the chlorella, you know, this will build your immune system, uh, build your gut, pull out toxins, um, help with your cellular healing. And so it honestly, Starbucks, your people are spending $5 for right. you know, a coffee. This will transform your cells and your cells right. are constantly regenerating. It will improve your, your brain health. Um, so it's, it's, I mean, this is mm -hmm. really, um, I, I call it efficient nutrition. Exactly. Uh, and, That's what yeah. I love about it. It's just yeah. so many birds with one stone. So yeah. that yeah. probably, you know, if you look at all the benefits, probably brings it down to like a penny a day per benefit or less, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah well, it's, if you don't look after your health now, you'll pay for it later. So mm -hmm. uh, enjoy what you have or regain what you've lost mm -hmm. uh, because you can get it back. You just have to be proactive. Mm -hmm. And I want to assure people, algae isn't new. It's just mm -hmm. new to you. And mm -hmm. you may not have known about chia or kiwa or matcha or collagen mm -hmm. powder until a mm -hmm. few years ago. Same thing with algae. It's been a multi-billion dollar agriculture crop for 60 years in Asia. Mm -hmm. And it's like... When was anybody going to tell you about it? You don't know about it because it doesn't grow here. We, I hope to grow it one day. But so mm -hmm. let me tell you, why should <laughs> the Asians be the only ones with the great longevity, the great skin and and, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. low cancer rates and low obesity rates? So mm -hmm. uh, enjoy it. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, we did the, I did this for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to get more to you, Tara, uh, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully tomorrow. Cause, uh, we want to thank you so much. It is yeah. treasured. Just so yeah. you know, it is treasured yeah. in our family. You get, it's absolutely one of my favorites in the whole industry. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.